All right, we are back with the Leicester City career mode. So in this episode, we're going to play the Super Cup against Real Madrid, and we're also going to finish the uh, the transfer window. So we're going to get through Real Madrid and also probably get through Man City and Chelsea. Those are probably the games we'll play in this episode. So you guys suggested a bunch of players, and I've added them all to the short list. But before we get into transfers, we're going to go into the first press conference of season two. All right, so first comment, sign Harvey Elliott. You didn't use him at Liverpool, and I would like to see him do well at another team. Yeah, we didn't use him at uh, Liverpool, but I would. I would not be against bringing him into Leicester City. Plus, I bet he would not be that expensive as well. So we're going to scout him and see. Maybe we can pick him up in this trance window. If not this window, maybe another window. But uh, we'll see. And then next one, an underrated player to sign is... I Do I even try to pronounce that? I feel like something's silent in that name. I don't know what is silent, but I feel like otherwise it's just... his Gankov? I have no idea. And I've never signed him in any career mode. So we're going to scout him. Same deal with Elliot. We're going to scout him. If he looks good, he might get picked up in this episode. Also, depending on the price though, because I feel like we do need a mid there more than another winger i think but like i said we will see and then last one play 352 because you got the players for it and it works better for you yeah i did see some of you guys say that we should try the three of the back formation so we're gonna try that in this episode so we're gonna try vardy dak up top madison behind them the real only change is that uh we lose barnes and instead fofana comes in at center back to be the third center back and then gosens is a left wing back and Pereira is a right wing back it's not like a crazy crazy change but it is three of the back we're gonna test it against real madrid could go horribly bad could go horribly good horribly right i'm curious to find out so we're gonna find out also the season objectives have been updated so we're keeping the first one from last season because i feel like finishing top four it's still not guaranteed we should fight for it but it's not guaranteed so if we don't again we're gonna have the possibility of losing our best player and then the other two are new so the academy any youth player to get 10 plus goal contributions gets plus five overall so basically the only player in contention for that is elliot but there might be more in the future if we promote players if we sign new players but if they get if they get plus 10 goal contributions then that's plus five we might add something for like uh center backs too like if uh if a youth player center back has like 15 clean sheets to his name maybe he can get plus five too and we might add that for the next episode so that i mean if tom wilt plays and he, he's involved in like maybe like i don't know maybe it should be like 12 clean sheets or 10 maybe like 10 then he can get plus five to his overall I feel like that's not a bad idea. And then the last one is just reach 25 clean sheets. If we do that, we get a plus two overall for all center backs in the team. But we have one. We need 24 more. I think uh, I think last season we had we had around like the 20 to 25 range. So if we can get at least 25. Ufana, Soyuncu, Zuma, the Akabi, even the youth player Gwilt, they will all get plus two to their overall. So that is huge. That is huge for future seasons. So yeah, those are the those are the updated season objectives. All right, so UEFA Super Cup, we won the Europa League last season, so we're facing Real Madrid, the winners of the Champions League. We're also testing out this three of the back formation against Real Madrid. It's a tough team to test it out against, but we're gonna try it. Inacho starting, and then Kemavinga comes in for Sumare. Other than that, it is the it is the starting eleven. So we will see what we can do against Real Madrid. Also, uh. Unai Simon. I think someone said I pronounced his name wrong. Might be like a... I forgot to look it up, but I'm going to call him Simon for now. He's also getting his first game for us in this game. So, first game of this episode, we will see what we can do. All right. I mean, this this trophy is not the flashiest, but it's still a trophy. A trophy that we could add to the trophy cabinet, but we are facing Real Madrid. We're also testing the three at the back formation. So, this is going to be a little bit interesting, but we're going to see what we can do. I'm not too worried about losing this, so that's why we're testing out this formation. But I mean, if, if we could win it, obviously, that is what we want. That first game against Liverpool in the uh, Community Shield was the worst game I've ever played. The second one against Leicester was a little bit better. So hopefully we're more towards, not Leicester, I meant Leeds. Hopefully this game is more towards the Leeds game than the Liverpool game. Pretty Nacho, play that out wide to go since he's playing more of a more of a wing back. I feel like that's his better position. That pass to Daco is just so good and Daco is not going to miss from there. He's just not. Beautiful pass and that is a beautiful goal. That pass from Gosens, that is exactly what I want from him at that left wing back spot. And then Daco, 85 rated Daco is, is just not going to miss there. He's not. Okay, 14th minute. That is a very good start for us. We are 1-0 up on Real Madrid. Just like that. It was, it was really the simplest of goals. So, all right, Benzema. That's going to be a shot and that's in off the post. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How does he even score this? This just makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense. I thought I won the ball there, but I did not. And then he just has a pop shot and that's in off the post. That is, that is, that is ridiculous. But all right. Okay. Now this game is 1-1. This might be a game now. Okay. Kamavenga, get that to Iheanacho. Madison to Daka. Decent first touch, but Modric is going to try to steal that. It goes to Gosens instead. We get a pop shot, maybe. Nope, we're gonna play that to Iannaccio. Iannaccio, 
on his left foot. Oh, it just took forever to turn, and that's going to be cleared. Okay, Nacho, see if we can combine with Daka a little bit. That's going to go to Kemavinga. Madison, they played, Marcelo played that pretty well. Madison looking for something. Oh, that pass was beautiful. And did the keeper get to that or what just happened? Okay, he like, he went for the shot. The keeper actually saved that with his foot. What a save that is. That is insane. Corner is going to be swung in and Kurt Zuma off the post. And we cannot collect it. So, so close to retaking the lead as I just get absolutely rinsed by the CPU. That is, thank you, competitor mode. All right, second half begins. This game is 1-1. It easily could be 2-1 for us, but instead it's just 1-1. We'll see if we can retake the lead in the second half. And Daka, Daka is just so good. It's ridiculous how good he is. Okay, and Didi, we're going to play out to Gosens. This is what we want to see from him. We're going to try to cross that in, and that was a cross too close to the keeper, I think. All right, they're starting to, they're starting to pass this ball around me, and I don't really like it. That's going to be a pass into Benzema. He's going to try to get it back. That is Luka Modric, and Simon does not do well with that at all. Like, he should be doing so much better than this. How is this not saved? It's just Luka Modric at the near post. I guess it just catches him off guard or something. I don't know, but I feel like he should. I mean, I guess it's curving. I guess it's a good shot. I don't know. I still feel like the keeper should be doing better with that, but okay. Real Madrid retake this lead. Now we have to try and equalize. Okay, that is into Benzema. We have, this game is slowed down for us. It's sped up for Real Madrid. Now, can we time this right? Play that to Iheanacho. Yes, we can. Iheanacho has the pace. Has the pace. Does he have the finish? Yes, he does. And this game's tied up. That is another just simple, simple goal, but I will take it. Hoping for him to have a bigger role this season than he did last season. And that is a big goal against Real Madrid. All right, this game is 2-2 this game is and we're making some subs. So Vardy's on for Daka. Castagna's on for Pereira. And then our youth center back, Gwilt, is on for Kurt Zuma. So uh, his first professional game is against Real Madrid. How about that? Yeah, he does in the in the back line. Iheanacho, get that to Vardy. Gosens is making a really good run. He's been really good on this, this left wing hand side. Gonna play that to Madison. Oh, I wanted, I, I thought someone was gonna make that run, but they just stayed back. Here he goes, gonna play that to Valverde, and Fofana is gonna keep that in, and he actually ends up making a pretty good challenge. All right, 10 minutes left. Otherwise, this will go straight to uh, to pens. I think this goes to pens, right? Or does it go to extra time? I, have, I actually don't know. Hopefully, we don't find out. Hopefully, I can win this before that. Right, Madison, gonna get that to Iheanacho. Castagne is making a really good run. Instead, we're gonna go to Camavinga. Vardy, Vardy, I see you. Jamie Vardy, Jamie Vardy for the win what kind of finish was that that is one of the worst finishes i've ever seen in my life hey we should have won that but corner in can i get a set to that no we can't that's gonna go out and we are gonna collect this though all right one minute of added time and we pass it straight to isco so this is going to extra time or pens which one is it all right so extra time it is i thought it was pens this should be just pens why does this have to go to extra time i have no idea but okay extra time it is hey us being competitive with real madrid with this uh, new formation i would say that's a that's a that's a win we'll see if we can actually get the win now party right, madison's making a pretty good run we're gonna go to Ianacho instead now can we find something I'm gonna go to vardy I'm gonna tell vardy to go on a run can this maybe work? Iheanacho. Iheanacho's going to go for a shot. And Iheanacho, this man is coming alive in season two. He is getting the chances. And that is that is such a good goal. I mean, to take this shot from this angle and to score that, that is that is top left-hand corner, too. That is beautiful. Two goals against Real Madrid for Iheanacho. That is, that is a 3-2 lead for us. Now we just have to see this lead out. And we seal this with one more. See, Castagne is really good to have because he is a perfect right wing back. See, Madison, we're going to cross it to him. He's not going to get to that, though. Can we head that into the mix? No, we can't. That is the end of the first half of extra time. All right, we're making one more change. We're going to bring Elliot on, another youth player, for his first game against Real Madrid. And then we're going to move Gosens to Cam because that is the only thing we can do literally right now. But we'll see if we can see out these uh, last 15 minutes. Can Elliot go on a run? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. We're going to try to shoot this. Elliot. Oh, I thought that went in on the rebound. Oh, Elliot, our youth player, almost had a amazing entrance. That is so close to, like, deflecting in. Corner is going to be swung in by Ghost Sins, and that's not going to reach anyone. Tom Wilt, another youth player. Going to go for a shot. What kind of shot is that? He's a center back. Tom Wilt, a center back, unleashes this shot, almost goes in. What is happening? Corner. Swung in. Vardy, Vardy that was pretty close. 
we had that can we had that to someone no we cannot it's going to go back to the keeper and that is going to be pushed out by real madrid this might be their best chance if they can get it and oh this is our that's uh soon i thought it was guilt hey let's get this out let's not make any mistakes we can take control of this ball that might be it for real madrid I'm gonna play that up to go since he's so versatile Party now and Didi. And Didi and Didi and Didi. Oh, I just waited so long to shoot. I thought I thought Vardy was gonna get into a better spot in the end, but he didn't. But it does not matter. We beat Real Madrid 3-2. Basically on the back of two goals from Ianacho. So we were we were not the favorites in this game at all, but we actually played pretty well. This formation seems to be clicking. So uh we might stick with it actually. But that is a big dub. We got a trophy, we got two youth players involved in a big game, and we won that game. So I would say that is a dub. And then Soyun Chu is going to lift the UEFA Super Cup. That is another trophy to add to the trophy cabinet. So I I mean, you can't be too mad at it. You cannot be too mad at it at all. All right, so we sold Soa and we also sold Benkovic. That's like 14 million added to the budget. So now we have about 50 million to work with, probably a little bit more than that. I feel like we need a midfielder and then maybe, maybe a winger, maybe. All right, so Harvey Elliott would only be 14 to 16 million. That seems like a pretty good deal. Um, Another hard name, Ranch. We're gonna call him that. He looks pretty good too. And he would be pretty, pretty cheap. Then we have players like Marino, Loftus-Cheek, Ward, Prowse, and Ox. who are all kind of the same price, Marino, a little bit more but i mean we do have the money for these for these deals so tis gang i'm gonna call him that for now he would be pretty expensive probably the most expensive out of this list so i don't think we'll sign him in this window but for a future signing he looks really good i just feel like we need a midfielder now more than more than anything else so sabitzer would be all of our money i don't think i want to make that big of a signing so ox i don't think i don't think ox is the best option i think war prowse would be a pretty good option like loftus cheek and I think Marino or maybe Ranch could be better options than uh, Loftus Cheek. All right, we're gonna see how much Southampton would accept for uh, James Ward Prowse. All right, so they accepted his value 29.5. I feel like that's not a bad deal for James Ward Prowse. You pretty much play him anywhere in the midfield. I feel like that is one of the better options at a uh, center mid. That would leave us still with money to spend too. Like I am liking the look of this uh, Aster Vrant Vrank. Can't say names, but he looks he looks really good. He's only 1870 rated and he looks so well rounded already. Like a lot of those stats are very close to getting into the greens, like the 73s and 74s. And he'd only be 10 million. And also someone did point out that we did not have a cam backup for Madison. So uh that is also something to maybe think about. Coutinho, obviously already on our short list as a cam, but I'm not sure if I want to sign Coutinho or not. All right, another interesting player is uh, Isco because he can play cam and he can also play center mid and on the wing. So he is he is very versatile and he's he's mainly an attacking player, but I mean, 64 stand tackle is not that bad. And we really don't have a backup for Madison. Like if he got injured, he would just probably play with a midfielder instead of a cam, but we don't have a cam backup for madison isco is isco is what is his rating 84 so madison's better than him but i mean he's a very interesting signing i'm gonna see what real madrid how much they would want for him all right so they accepted 36.5 that's uh that's like seven more million than ward prowse and his wages are huge so i'm not sure that's the that's the best signing even though he does look very useful for this team and i feel like ward prowse is very similar to kemavinga so uh that is my only my only reservations with that that isco would be on the bench and there'd be no other player like him on the bench all right we're gonna we're gonna wait on that just for a minute all right we got wolves in the prem this is the second game of the premier league and this game is gonna be a 2-2 draw i mean it's not the worst result away from home movinga and daga score so i mean yeah yeah away from home that's not the worst result possible it's not bad all right so i we're going to go in to contract negotiations with Isco. If we can get his wage lowered, I think I will sign him. I think Ward Prowse would be a great option, but I mean, he is the captain of Southampton, so I don't know how realistic it is him coming to Leicester City. I don't know how realistic Isco coming to Leicester is either, but I think I would rather have Isco. So we're going to go into contract negotiations, but that wage is super high. So we need that to come down a bit, like probably by a lot, actually. So... 240 240 per week that's pretty high i mean and he wants a 2 million signing bonus too that is huge 215 that will leave us with probably like 13 million to work with just a lot of money it's a lot of money all right we're gonna offer this we're gonna offer 185,000 per week and a 2 million signing bonus if he accepts this he's joining leicester city if he does not we're not signing him i am leaving it up to isco himself what does he say that he wants 240 per week i'm just not i don't think i'm paying that much for a bench player i don't think i am isco you will not be joining leicester city so i think in the end james 
Baltimore prowess. He has a Premier League experience. He's trying. He wants to step up from Southampton. I think he thinks it's time, and he's picked Leicester City to be that club. So his wages are going to be nothing like uh, like Isco's. Plus, he's cheaper. We have way more money to spend. I think after this too. But I think this is the better option. Yeah, only seventy-six thousand per week. That is way way lower. I'm fine with eighty-eight thousand per week. So James Ward Prowse is signed up first signing of this episode. I feel like we just needed one more box to box really. I feel like that's what we needed all right because that round winter game was so long we're gonna play chelsea and then sim or we're gonna play man city then sim chelsea and then finish the uh the window so we have like 25 million left to spend but we're gonna try to spend that after this man city game so we're going full strength with the three of the back formation three five two worked against real madrid we're gonna see how it works against uh man city all right leicester v man city if we want to finish top four we have to be competitive with these kind of teams we were not competitive with them uh last season so that needs to be the change this season we'll see what we can do against a uh, man city feeling very confident in this formation too i feel like it's i feel like it's working for us daka is gonna get that to madison that's a good ball now can we find something we're gonna play this to gosens that's a great ball from uh madison into indeedy this is a chance this is a chance oh that's saved by the keeper and that's gonna be cleared that was actually a really good chance Damare. That to Vardy, get that to Daka maybe. No, Broadry is going to collect that. Right, Madison, again, Daka Vardy combo is combining. Now, what do we do with this? We're gonna go to Madison. Flip that to Sumare, he's gonna go for a shot. Right at Ederson though. Okay, right, our midfield is doing really good to start this game. Like really good, that ball was supposed to go to Madison. Good ball to Daka, get that to Vardy. Very good touch. See if we can work something out of this. Amare gonna wait for Ndidi. That's a good ball. Get that to Vardy. Madison. Daka needs you to go on a run, buddy. There you go. We try and cross this in. I see Vardy. I see the cross. We saw it, and Vardy puts that in. That is a great, great start to this game. Yeah, I saw him making that run. I wasn't trying to go for a shot with Daka, but I saw him making that run and just the great header. We score from another cross, which is kind of crazy. Right, 25 minutes in, that is a 1-0 lead. Now we got to protect our home field and actually win this game now. This game feels very winnable. We've had a much better start. And Ricardo Pereira, is that going to be a corner or a goal kick? That is going to be a corner for Man City. We're going to send that in. That's a good looking corner. Zuma does get it out though. And that's going to be another corner, I think. Second time around, that should be easily cleared. And that is. And we steal that ball. We're going to get it out wide to Vardy. Vardy, get on your bike. Get on it. Get your booster seat up and get on your bicycle. Gosens. Gosens makes a great run on his left foot. Oh, he was closed down by Cancelo. So well there. Yeah, Samari and Ndidi are just continuing their form from last season. They're just stopping everything in the midfield. Vardy. Vardy, who time it? Oh, just they defended that pretty well, too. A good ball into Jesus. I see Foden. I see him. Try to mark him to stop the pass. And Soyuncu will win that. That's uh, not what I want. Not what I want. Not what I want. That's De Bruyne. That is the last person I want shooting. That's a good challenge. Ref, blow the whistle, please. This ref does not like me right now. Please, just blow the whistle for halftime. Just do it. This is how. This is five minutes over at a time. Thank you, ref. God, bail me out. That was insane. Okay, second half begins. 1-0 up. This lead all of a sudden does not feel that safe because they could have easily scored there. See if we can keep this lead, maybe add to it. That would be nice. All right, man. City continuing where they left off. And DD is just way too strong, though. 89 rated. I think he's 89. He's just way too strong. It goes in. Can you get on your bike too? Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. We aim for Daka. I think we wait a little bit. I think we wait a little bit. Can we flip that to Vardy? Yes, we can. That is to an incoming Sumare. That was so awkward, but it actually worked. And a rare goal from Sumare. And that is a tuna lead on Man City. This was very awkward. I didn't mean to do this, but it worked. It's just, it just worked. Sumare made the run and that is a good finish. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this season's going to be a lot different than season one in terms of our Premier League form. I feel like we are going to be so, so much better this season. Madison, get that to Vardy. This game might open up now. Might open up. Get that to Madison. Oh, that should, that would have been a goal easily. Already get that to get that to Madison. Okay, they're defending really weird here, and that is a, not a good pass. Dd, get that to Gosens. Okay, run, 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 run. We got subs coming on soon, but we can get this third right now. We might just go with Gosens himself. We are gonna do that. We are gonna do that. That's the post, and Taka gets the rebound. 
3-0, beating Man City at home. Oh, this is this is gonna be a good win. Plus, Daka continuing his form from last season as well. Yeah, that was a that was an ugly goal. We got subs coming on though. Ward Prowse gets his debut for Leicester City. Kim Ving is on as well. And then uh Ianacho is on for Jamie Vardy up top last 20 minutes. This game, this game's over. Yeah, this this formation is clicking. I am liking it. Okay, they're they're just they are crumbling all of a sudden. Kemavenga waiting for you not show okay they defended that so well the cpu is doing a lot better at defending those like chances throw that into daka daka this is a chance to shoot actually daka with the curler that that was so slow but that is 4-0 we are we are smashing man city at home i was not expecting this but it is it is more than welcome now this the speed on this shot is like so slow but i guess it's placement it's almost like a chip shot hey hey we will take it 4-0 Four 0 against Man City. I will take that any day of the week. I mean, okay, that's okay. They they just turned. They've just switched off completely. They got very close to scoring at the end of the first half, and then they did not. And second half has been all us. So that is exactly what has happened in this game. Daka, get that to Ianacho. Wait for one more run. And nope, we're gonna go right to Daka. He is on a hat trick. He is on a hat trick. We're gonna go to Indeedy instead. And that is a. This is a shot that is off target. All right, and that is full time. That tops, that ends such a good game. 4-0 against Man City. That is beautiful. They just they just switched off in the second half. That is exactly what happened. All right, so, I mean, taking a look at this team, I feel like, I feel like we're in a pretty good shape where I don't think we need to make another big signing in this window. I feel like this money would be better well spent if we keep most of it and then save it for January and see, play the first half of the season, see what we need, and then uh, and then assess it there. I feel like, I feel like right now we're in a very, very good shape. But this Aster Vrans guy, I think I want to sign him up. He's only going to be 10 million and he looks, he just looks so good and so well-rounded. I love players that are well-rounded. Plus he has 69 stand tackle, so he could be a really good well-rounded CDM in the future. So we're going to sign him up. He's only going to be like 10 million. All right, for exactly 10 million, we're going to try to sign him up. Will he like his contract? Yes, he does. So we've signed up a promising young midfielder that looks so good. And I think that's our last signing of this window, I think. I feel like uh, when we need wingers, I feel like my top Top, top target is uh is Tiz Gankov. I kind of learned how to pronounce his name if if we do sign him. I'm gonna call him Victor. Victor is our number one target at, if we were looking for wingers, I think. So it could be a signing in January, maybe. We'll see. But I feel like as of now, we're in a very good spot and uh, we're gonna save the rest of the money we do have for January. Also, James Ward Prowse is getting the number six shirt and then uh, Vranch is gonna get the number 18 shirt. He's an exciting prospect too. So I'm very excited to actually see how he feels in game, probably in the next episode. All right, so Chelsea away from home. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a tough game. Can we get a bit of quick sim luck? Can we get at least a draw? At, we actually get all three points at Stamford Bridge. 82nd minute winner from Ndidi, and then Vardy is scoring the first. I, I was not expecting that, but that is a very good sign for this second season. I think our Premier League form is going to be a lot different in season two. We beat Man City and Chelsea back to back. That is a statement towards the rest of the Premier League. Yeah, so we spent 121 million in this uh, transfer window. We, we sold 75 millions worth. Yeah, we were, we were busy in this window. We were busy. Um, um, the top deals were Kamavinga actually is the top deal. That's that's kind of surprising actually. These are some low transfers. Jovic to Bayern is the second highest, and then the rest of these are kind of kind of underwhelming actually. I was expecting bigger transfers than these. Yeah, transfer was over, and the top deal is now Stones to Bayern Munich. Okay, Chiro Mobile to Real Madrid. Um, other than that, that is the only that is the only two new signings. That is a that is a underwhelming transfer window. But I mean, not for us though. We made a lot of big moves, and those moves look to be like the moves that will push us up in the Premier League this season. And that is exactly what we're looking for. All right, so in the next episode, the Champions League starts. So in our group, we have Napoli, and then the other team is Lille. So it's it's not an easy group, actually. It's not that easy of a group. If if we play as good as we can, I think we can finish at least first or second in this group. But like Napoli is going to be the other team that finishes uh, first or second. We just got to beat Lille out. So that will start in the next episode of the Champions League. But I think this was a pretty good episode, a pretty good episode beating Man City and Chelsea back to back hopefully that is a sign for things to come in this season but if you enjoyed this episode i appreciate you dropping a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you have not and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day